Hey, Vsauce, Andrew Dodson here. It's Pi Day today, as you might notice. Okay, I, I have Pi on my shirt here. Okay, in normal case, you, you would stop at the first number here. Okay, it's, it's, it's just a three. This is just what Pi is, but it wouldn't be hard if there would just be a three. So with that out of the way, we are going to bake a little pie today. It's not going to be heavily math related. Um, just a little something for this pie day. Okay, for, for you, my boys, it's, it's not really baking math, it's, it's, it's just pie baking. Simply because of the reason, um, cause my wife's grandparents, or should I say the, the grandpa is at rehab at the moment and, and thus her grandmother is alone at home. And, and we thought we might as well bring some joy to her life by baking her a little pie. It's going to be a cherry pie. <laughs> Oh, sweet cherry pie. This reminds me of some cool anime music videos I have seen in the past. Never mind. Um, yeah, ch just a little improvised cake pie that, that we are going to do today. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to go through a few of my videos that was we are going to do. And I'm going to tell you about all the videos that have been pie related on this channel. And, and trust me, those are a lot out of 500 videos, more than 100 videos do have something to do with pie, so <laughs> this shit's everywhere. Let us go ahead and get started with the pie. We would like to begin by preheating the oven up to 50 degrees, so the, so the best case would be 40 degrees Celsius, but um, if you only have 50 degrees upwards, then do it 50 degrees and then turn it off. We just want a slight heat in, in here in the oven, okay? For the yeast to really get lift up. So we should start off with a pretty obvious one. A few days ago Jonas von Essen tried to break the world record of most digits of pi remembered. He tried for 100,000 digits of pi in the live stream here on my channel. You can find those in the live stream section. But he didn't succeed. On the other hand he broke the European record and also the Eastern European record. And well, congratulations to you. 24,063 digits remembered and he's now on place number 9 on the world ranking list of most digits of pi being remembered. Later that day he also tried himself on the Extreme Pi Matrix Challenge where he had to rem remember 50 random lines out of this 100,000 digits of pi book but he only got 22 right. But on another note, on March 11th, if I remember correctly, he actually broke the world record and remembered 50 lines correctly. So congratulations to you, Jonas von Essen, you've done it. World record for you. Now the first part of preparing the dough is done. We have to really get a bit more rough with the dough after it is done in the oven for a bit. Okay, just um, preheat it oven, put it in there and let the yeast go berserk in there. And yeah, we are going to let it rest now with a little cover, okay, a little kitty catty cover. We are going to let it rest now for about 15 minutes here in the oven at around 30 to 40 degrees. And yeah, let's put it in here and we are going to let it rest for now and this just screams for a little break. And don't you guys forget, I've been hacked. A few weeks ago and to make my accounts more secure, to make my internet experience more secure, I'm using ExpressVPN now each and every day. I'm just using it every time I log into some Wi-Fi network, be it at home or in a public space. And I would like to give a huge shout out to ExpressVPN for backing up this baking video. Backing up a baking video. <laughs> That's quite weird to say. Subscribers of my channel will get three months for free on a one-year plan using the link at the top of the description. Since the incident, I use it 100% of the time, be it on my phone or my laptops while using the internet. ExpressVPN helps me bypass content restrictions when I'm traveling around and ensures the security of my personal data whenever and wherever I connect to the internet. Secure your personal data and support the channel by trying out ExpressVPN for free using the link at the top of the description. And now, back to baking. Now here come some really obvious ones. Over the course of the last few years I have done a lot of integrals on this channel. Like, really a lot. The, the playlist on integrals is, is just in, insanely long. And there are so many integrals that I have covered that just had something to do with pi, be it in the upper or lower bounds, or they had pi as an answer. For example, two of my most favorites are definitely Ahmed's integral and the corresponding Cox Setters integral. They 
are just so amazing. But we had other really nice integrals, like my three part series on the Franz and Robinson constant, where it's kind of an approximation for you. You, you could say it was the integral of the reciprocal gamma function. And then you had this error term, which also included pi in the integrand. So this has been absolutely amazing. I love this thing. Watch this three part series. It's, it's absolutely fine. It includes a huge result by Ramanujan and, and it's just absolutely fabulous. Another class of integrals that I highly enjoyed doing on this channel were those of the type Basel problem. So Seda of two times integer values, for example, positive integer values. They are just so great and there are so many integral representations of the, of the Basel problem out there and, and they are just so much fun doing. Those are just analytic number theory results and, and they are just so much fun doing. You get through the same process most of the time or you do some residue theorem shit and, and, and it's just absolutely fabulous. So check those out, go into my integrals playlist and just try out to um, yeah, figure some of those integrals out there are a lot of fun to do. While speaking of analytic number theory, what we also did a lot on this channel was dealing with infinite products with um, with the cotension series ex expansion, Mittag Leffler um, Fourier series expansion, or what we also had, we were dealing with the exponential integrals, sine and cosine integrals, and, and they are all highly related to our boy pi. So, so it just pops up everywhere. And, and some of my most favorite results really include like the, the infinite uh, product expansion for the sine function, for example. It's, it's just absolutely fabulous and, and so much fun to do. And speaking of analytic number theory, what we also have are gamma of half values. And, and you can, by the recursive property, tr trace it all back to basically gamma of one half times some constant factor. And, and de there we go, square root of pi just pops out, just like with the Gaussian integral. It's, it's, it's just a, a better Gaussian integral, you could say. It's, it's so much fun doing it. Uh, I, I love this stuff. Pi pops out in weird places and it's just so much fun dealing with this. Just look at the surface of this boy. He's definitely infinitely often differentiable. Am I right? Speaking of other integrals, what comes to my mind are Rabe's integral formula <laughs> integrating the natural log of the gamma function. That's, that's a really nice one. It, it's one of my most favorite integrals ever. And also we had, for example, um, our Dirichlet integral and also the corresponding series ex expansion that has the same summand as the integrand. So uh, this was um, Putnam Dreams Reloaded. So Sophomore's Dream re Reloaded is it's just such a cool little fact that you uh, might, might want to know. It's, it's just so much fun doing this. One of the most brutal things I have ever done on this channel included Gauss multiplication formula. At first I um, introduced Legendre's duplication formula to you guys, which already in included um, pi in, in some way. but. But later I uploaded a 30 minute video of a proof of Gauss multiplication formula which had a lot of pre prerequisite videos uh, coming with it and, and it was just, it was such a brutal thing and, and the derivation of this thing is just so heavy. <laughs> there was a hard one on me, not gonna lie. And, and Gauss multiplication formula can be found in part also in the um, in a function the equation for the Riemann theta function. So, so check it out in my master's thesis. Link will be in the description. I derived it there. So this is also somewhere where pi suddenly pops up. Can you see this vanilla cream? Oh, mm. it's so delicious. Oh, goodness. So good, so good. What I also remember are a lot of random things that I have done improvised session, like the Taylor series expansion for the for the arc ten of of something pi suddenly popped out while checking full radius of convergence. Or we had the calculation of infinity factoria. It, it might so it might sound weird at first, but but infinity factoria is actually a, a thing. This is just a um, natural log of of basically. Uh, Riemann theta prime of, of zero, you could say, and it turns out to be square root of two times pi. So, so multiplying infinitely many positive things leads to uh, s something that involves pi. This is just really weird regularization that we are doing here, but, but also watch that video. That's, that's a really fun one. Speaking of fun things, Euler's reflection formula. I have derived multiple 
representations and, and proofs of this thing. And yeah, it's, it's just cool. Um, you, you can use each and every um, definition of the gamma function for it and you basically arrive at Euler's reflection formula by multiplying those two gammas together. And it's just one of those really major results that really doesn't make any sense at first. Why would you get something with the sine and the pi included in there when, when multiplying factorials together? This is just weird, but it's a fact that holds if you consider the continuous um, um, representation basically for the factorial. So, so, so that's a really cool thing. And, and speaking of factorials, I also did a math snack that included get, uh, I fact factorial. And yeah, basically by Euler's reflection formula, you got something with the pi and the uh, and uh, um, the hyperbolic sine, if I re remember correctly, or the hyperbolic cotangent, something like this of uh, pi times z. So, so this is also a, a really cool one. He, you should check that out. Also, obviously, pi pops out in a lot of geometric things like the unit circle. So I did a unit circle 101 at, at some point where I derived like the half a cosine and shit. That was a weird video. And many other places. So so basically in geometry, pi plays a huge role and, and it's just there everywhere. And, and no matter where you look in elementary geometry, etc., et um, hyperbolic geometry, pi is everywhere. It's, it's just seriously everywhere. Sometimes also Laplace transforms involve pi, for example, the, the Gaussian bell curve. The Laplace transform of this thing, it, it involves the complementary error function, which can be ex expressed by the error function and square root of pi over two, something like that. So yeah, it, it pops out there too. While you're looking for everything here through my screenshots that I probably put into my video, uh, I can also see that we did a lot of analytic geometry on this channel, like, like the cardioid and and um, the, the cycloid and, and yeah, like I said, ge geometry pi plays a huge role there. It's, it's just everywhere. If you want to calculate the arc length, then you have to go to pi over two as the upper bound of an integral, etc. It's just there. It's just something that is there. Oh, I also did some nonlinear dynamics on this channel, which involved um, <laughs> using the Dirichlet kernel. And yeah, I was dealing with the Kuramoto model there and Pi also popped up while using the Dirichlet kernel. And I tell you what, the Dirichlet kernel is one of my most favorite things ever when it comes to mathematics and a corresponding Fayer kernel. And, and some of my most favorite integrals also involve integrating the Dirichlet and Fayer kernel. And you should check out those videos because they are just simply amazing. <laughs> also, uh, looking back at the uh, advent calendar from two years ago, I can see that we did some um, which is greater, e to the pi or pi to the e, and we also did some, um, yeah, which one is actually greater, e or pi. Pi is obviously greater, so it's greater than three, and e is exactly three. So yeah, this is something that, that uh, holds, and also in the advent calendar we did a lot of um, analytic me mechanics, analytical mechanics, so physics, and some of those actually involve pi too. So if you fall through the earth, like you have this um, period time and it also heavily involves pi. And I did a lot of other physics videos, like the wave pendulum one, and pi is just there. It, it just pops up because we have those sinusoidal and, and cosine waves. And yeah, they are heavily related to our boy pi. <laughs> shit! Um, totally forgot that, but I dissed fresh Toad Walker back then, and this boy, this boy, in my little parody video, which has over 50k views by now, also involved Pi. <laughs> so <laughs> you should check this out. Oh, that's a good one. Only 0.1% of Korean elementary schoolers could solve this viral math puzzle. Hmm. Yeah, so, so I'm going through this list again. Some, some random problems also involve pi, and, and then we have complex analysis, sine of x being equal to pi, where you just go into the, the complex version, basically, of the, of the arcus sine, and yeah, just some random problems. But this is basically it. So, so this was just a bit of talking in the background. I hope you did enjoy this, and, and now for the cake. And thus, we are done, my boys and girls. Into the oven, 200 degrees Celsius, 
for about one hour, okay? Always check in between if it's already okay. I'm going to put it into the oven and then I'm going to see you soon. Here's the cake my sons and daughters. Oh, it, it looks pretty good, this little pie that we have right here. We are going to give it a little taste test pretty soon when it's completely cooled down. But um, I said, oh, it, it looks so good, it turned out really well. Oh, stuff always turns out so nice when I do these videos. It's amazing. It tastes really damn good. You can't really argue with that. You should seriously try it out for for an improvised cake, for an improvised pie, that's, <laughs> they turned out really good. It's, it's pretty good. I'm going to eat more of them. See you. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, recommend channel if like. Don't forget to try out ExpressVPN. They were kind enough to make me an affiliate. So if you try out ExpressVPN, you also do something for the channel. And yeah. Thanks for your support. Try it out, link will be in the description. You can get to my personalized landing page. And I hope you did enjoy this little Pi Day special. If you did, you know what you can do to support the channel in various other ways. Up until the next video, have a Pi Day, I suppose. Ciao.